now from Spire Laser. Last two weeks, we carefully listed the possible problems of protective lenses and solutions for reference. And uh, if you haven't checked out the two videos, up here you can find them. This week, we are going to finish the topic on protective lenses. On roll, here is a damaged lens, and you can see there is a black spot on the lens. First, let's review the problems of protective lens. Number one, when you see black spots, the lens may have been burned thoroughly. Please replace a new lens. Number two, if there are wet spots, probably mental slags go up inside of the cutting head. Please check your cut or pierce parameters. Number three, water or oil appears on the surface. Please inspect the auxiliary gas. Number four, if you find condensation on top surface of the lens, please notice the temperature of the machine room and chiller setting. There are other issues for protective lens. For example, the white spot doesn't only mean that mental slags enter the cavity. The situations we listed above are the most common, but it doesn't deny other possibilities. So please make the identification based on the actual situation. In summary, our first suggestion for the daily routine. First, examine the gas part before you turn on the machine, especially the air compressor. Is the filters and water discharged? Second, inspect the lower protective lens. Please take it as your first task when you light the machine up. It should be a clean condition for checking the lens. You need to seal the hollow part in time after pulling out the cavity, aiming to prevent dust and other impurities from entering the cavity. Carefully observe whether there are some impurities, water or oil stains on both sides of the lens. If you confirm that the lens is intact, please restore it in time. If you find some contaminants on the lens, please use alcohol and a cotton swab to try to clean the lens in a circle. But according to our experience, if oil is present, it will not be wiped off easily, and probably a new protective lens needs to be replaced. Protective lens is very important to the laser cutting machine, and its cleanness directly affects the processing performance and maintenance. If the lens is not properly selected, it will cause large loss and frequent damage, which directly leads to an increase in maintenance costs. Although the protective lens is a vulnerable part, we can inspect and clean it regularly to improve its utilization and save costs. But if the surface of the lens has been damaged, please replace a new lens in time to prevent possible larger problems. We offer three points on cleaning the lens. First, the lens material is relatively fragile, and an anti-reflection film on the surface is afraid of pollution, humidity, oilness, and scratching. Over the replacement and cleaning is required to provide dry and degreasing air. Please wear gloves and a special set for operation. Don't use too much force on it, and don't apply it with hard atoms. For smaller lenses, it's more convenient to use optical tweezers. Be sure just to climb along the non-optical surface, such as the edge of the mirror. Second, most contaminants and defects are relatively very small. We often need to use magnifying device for inspecting lenses. Sometimes we also need to illuminate the optical surface to enhance the specular reflection in density. Third. It's recommended to use cotton swabs and optical-grade solvents to prevent damage for cleaning lenses. 
There is a free PDF worksheet based on retools to show the steps to clean the whole cutting head. Just for reference, you can click the link below in the description to download. There it is. And today we finish the series of protective lens for five liter cutting machine. Thank you for sharing time with us. It means a lot to us. If you are looking for the protective lens, a video up here you can check it out. Do you have another issues on laser machines? Please put it in the comment below and we'll reply you. Here, please subscribe me and keep on following us. We'll offer more solutions of laser cutting. See you next Tuesday here on my YouTube channel. Bye.